Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is feature selection, what are the different type of feature selection and what are the advantages and disadvantages of feature selection in machine learning. Before we go to the feature selection part, first we will try to understand uh, what is uh, machine learning. Machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence that allows computers to learn without being explicitly programmed. So in machine learning, what we do is uh, we will give data to the system and uh, it will learn from that particular data and uh, later the learn model can be used to classify or predict the future events. Usually machine learning model is built with the help of a data set. A data set is usually represented in the form of a table with rows and uh, columns. The rows represents the examples and the columns represents the features or you can say that attributes or input variables. In this example, you can see here, the last column is the price. That is the, we want to predict the price of that particular house here, given some features. The features are address, number of rooms, house age and owner. Given these particular features, we want to predict what is the price of that particular house in this case. Now, uh, the very first question comes in front of us is, uh, what is feature selection? Feature selection is a process of selecting most relevant uh, subset of features from the original set of features by dropping redundant, noisy and irrelevant features. That is, given a set of features, uh, sometimes what happens is that particular uh, data set may contain some redundant features, noisy features or irrelevant features. So we need to remove all those particular things and we need to come up with uh, the subset of features which are most relevant to that particular problem definition. So this particular feature selection is used in many of the applications like object detection, natural language processing, remote sensing, image retrieval and so on. Now the next question comes in front of us is why do we need to do feature selection? As said earlier, the given data set may contain a lot of redundant, noisy and irrelevant features. So what we need to do is we need to remove those particular things otherwise the trained model will become too weak as well as it may generate some misleading patterns over here. To avoid that particular thing, what we do is uh, we will remove all those particular features from the uh, feature set over here. Uh, let us take an example to understand uh, why do we need to do feature selection. This is the data set I have already explained in the previous slide. Here we have uh, four uh, features and the price is what we want to predict. Now if you want to predict the price of that particular house, uh, we will try to use each of these particular features. Now let us say that the first feature is address. The address uh, does matter when you want to predict that particular house, uh, price of that particular house because uh, the uh, if the house is present in a remote area then the price will be less. If it is present in the you can say that urban area or something like that the price will be more in that case. The number of rooms does matter here because the number of if the less number of rooms are there the price will be less if more number of rooms are there the price will be definitely more in that case the age of that particular house also matters here because the new house will be having more price and the old house will be having the lower price in that case but coming back to this owner when we want to predict the price of that particular house the this column or you can say that this feature doesn't matter much here that is the owner of that particular house so what we need to do in this case is we need to remove this particular owner and we need to retain only these three features over here so once you remove that particular owner it will look something like this it contains only three features and the price is the what we want to predict in this particular case here now what are the different methods to do feature selection is uh, mainly feature selection methods are divided into two parts one is called as a supervised feature selection and the second one is unsupervised feature selection. Supervised feature selections are again divided into three groups, filter methods, wrapper methods and embedded methods in this case. Now we will try to understand each of these particular methods so one by one. In unsupervised feature selection method, uh, we use these particular methods on the top of unlabeled data. Here, given some set of features, what we do is uh, we will try to assign some rate or the weight for that particular feature with the help of uh, the entropy, variance, capacity to maintain the local similarity and so on. Using these particular things, we will try to assign either rate or a uh, weight to that particular feature. 
the one which is having uh, the more weight that will be selected and remaining will be removed from that particular feature set so this, now coming back to supervised feature selection method these methods are applied to the label data in this case uh, what we do is uh, we will try to select those features which will maximize the performance of the supervised model now uh, these particular uh, supervised feature selection methods are divided into three groups as i said earlier the first one is a wrapper method here so in wrapper method what actually happens is we will be given some set of features from this particular set of features we will generate the subsets over here subset of features you can say now we will give that particular subset of features to the machine learning model the same thing will be repeated again and again for all subset of features here and finally the one set of feature which will give you the maximum performance that will be considered as the final feature set over here now the question is how to generate this particular subset of features to generate subset of features uh, there are two methods are there either we can use uh, forward wrapper methods or we can use backward wrapper methods over here in forward wrapper method we will start with uh, empty set and then we will go on adding one feature at a time so that uh, we can measure the performance of machine learning model so we will start with the empty set we will add one feature to that one and then we will create a model similarly we will add one more feature and then we will create another model and we will go on uh, monitoring that particular performance of the model the one model which will give you the maximum performance that will be considered as the final feature set over here in backward uh, wrapper methods it is opposite to the forward uh, wrapper method because in this case we will start with all features in the first case now what we do is uh, we will go on removing one feature at a time and then we will try to monitor the performance of the supervised machine learning model the one which will give you the maximum performance that will be considered for uh, considered as the final feature set over here so these are the two methods we use uh, to generate uh, the subset of uh, features in this case now coming back to the next method that is the filter methods in filter method what we do is uh, given some set of features we will try to identify the correlation of that particular feature let us say that x is one feature we will try to identify the correlation of feature x with respect to the target variable here now uh, if it is correlated with the target uh, variable we will retain it otherwise we will remove that particular thing now the next question comes in front of us is how to find the correlation between a variable x and the target here so there are a lot of uh, statistical uh, tools are available uh, like uh, chi square test information gain fisher score psn correlation anova and so on all these particular statistical tools are available with the help of this we will try to identify the correlation of a uh, input variable with respect to target if it is highly correlated we will retain it otherwise we will remove that particular feature from the feature set over here the last feature selection method is uh, intrinsic or embedded uh, methods there are some machine learning algorithms which have this particular feature for example decision tree in decision tree while building uh, the tree what we do is uh, we will start with uh, the feature which is having the most information gain and then uh, we will start building the tree from there onwards when it comes to the second level from the remaining features we will try to select the one feature which is having more information gain and so on so what we do here is uh, rather than considering all features we will consider only that feature which is having importance over there and then we will start building the machine learning model over there so this is the third set of uh, features uh, selection method over here now the last part of this particular discussion is uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, feature selection method there are a lot of uh, advantages are there with respect to the feature selection the very first advantage is uh, it will reduce the overfitting because we are not uh, using all the features over here the features with redundancy noisy and irrelevant features were removed here so definitely we will not get the uh, model into overfitting case or something like that second one is uh, for sure it will improve the accuracy of the model because we have removed the misleading and unimportant data from the given data set and it will re reduce uh, the total time required to train that particular model because if you have a more number of features then uh, it will take a lot of time to train that particular machine learning model but uh, in this case we have removed the uh, irrelevant features so because of that definitely the training time will be less here now coming back to the next one that is uh, 
the disadvantages definitely uh, we will use this particular model to remove the irrelevant uh, data but if you have a data set with uh, very high dimensional case for example let us say that some thousands of features are there in such cases uh, if we try to use uh, these kind of uh, methods they will take a lot of time to uh, get the better feature set over here so that is the one disadvantage what we will get when it comes to uh, feature selection methods over here in the next video i will discuss uh, how to implement feature selection method in python with a simple data set i hope this particular concept is uh, clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching